Hey, what's your name? Nick. Huh? Nick. Nick? Nick? Okay, my name is Shaka Nye, Nick. You see, you've been up here for a minute. Now, sister, check this out. Sister, now, when you went over to 128, right, the, that we went through slavery, cargo slave ships, all this stuff was prophesied in the Bible, right? So, why it wasn't never taught to us in these sun worshiping churches? Huh? Whoever what? Why, why they, they is not teaching us this in these sun, sun, Sunday churches? Why they ain't teaching us this? <laughs> They're not teaching this, sister. They ain't teaching us who we are. They never read it in church. Ever. When I was going to church one until then, when I was young, they never showed me who we, as a people, as a nation of people, they never showed us our identity in the Bible. They never showed us that. Right? So if I ask you, how does Christ identify, how is Christ identified in the Bible? What would you say? Okay, now, check this out. What's your little man's name? Brandon. What's your name, sister? What's her name? Bria. Bria. Out of these two pictures right here, point at Jesus Christ. Come over here and point at Jesus Christ. Come on, come on. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody gonna do nothing to you. Come over here and point at Jesus Christ. You see these pictures? Okay, sister, you're supposed to be an example. Come over here and point at Jesus Christ. They said we don't know who he look like. But what did they teach? What did they teach us in these churches what he looked like? They said we don't know the color, who he like. When he come back, we don't, we don't know what he looks like. Okay, so. He ain't white. Now, the thing is, okay, you say he ain't white, but what they portray him to look like in these churches and in the movies? What they portray him to look like? He, they portray him to look like he's white, right? Okay, the reason why we have these signs out here to show you the truth about everything that has happened to our people and the lies that they've been showing us. Because if you can see right here, sister, the name of the image that they had put up during the Renaissance time is Caesar Borgia. This during the Renaissance time, during the 1490s, okay? They set his image up to be as Jesus Christ. When he is Alexander the Pope's son, and he was a homosexual lover of Leonardo da Vinci. They say his image of it. But really Christ is a black man according to the Bible. That's what they do not want you to know. They didn't teach you about slavery in the Bible, the prophecies, because they don't want you to know who you are. If I ask you what's your nationality, what you would tell me, sister? African American. Now, I ain't to be on anything. I want anything. They gave us that term in 1987. They brought us over here on cargo slave ships in 1619. Was they calling us African American then? I think they were calling us black. They were calling us Negroes. They were calling us color. They were calling us niggers. That's what they were calling us, sister. But really, the first advertisement of slaves, they know that we was the true Hebrews. They knew that. They knew that, sister, but this is what we got to do. Read that real quick. In the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 2. Uh -huh. And be not conformed to this world. We should not be conformed to the ways of this world. All the false teachings, all the philosophies, all the traditions, all the main vain customs, that these people, the same ones that did all these evils to us, we shouldn't be conformed to that thing. Keep reading. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. You have to renew your mind. You have to subdue your own understanding and come to the true understanding what God is trying to show you. You understand, sister? So, like the scripture he was bringing out, right? He was bringing out that our sisters really originally posed a dress in modest apparel because we are the true royalty of God. You understand, sister? For our, for our identity and nationality that we are the children of Israel. We are the true Israelites. And you said African-American, right? Sister, look on this sign right here. 
What does it say beside American blacks? It says Judah, because that is your true nationality. You are an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. What is short for Judah is Jew. We are the real Jews, according to the word of God, according to the truth, according to the prophecy. We are the real Jews, but they lied and destroyed us from our true nationality and our true heritage and tell us that we are three-fifths of a human being, that we are nothing but a degenerate race of, pe a race of period, race of people, that, that we are inferior and they are the superior, right? But that was not always the case. Because let me ask you this, Nick. Prior to when we was over here on cargo slave ships, before they had us in slavery, who was we as a nation of people? And what was our history before that? Okay, we were God people. But what event happened in history before slavery? What event happened in history that we was part of? Huh? I can't hear you. Man. Okay. Now, sister, is you is you familiar hearing about the Renaissance time, right? Renaissance. The Renaissance era. Renaissance means rebirth. Is you familiar about hearing about the Dark Ages? You heard about the Dark Ages? Okay. There's a lot of history that these people is not teaching us in these schools, and our people have been destroyed from that knowledge or understanding who we truly is. Okay. And the reason why they don't want you to know because they don't want you to come back to your true greatness of being the greatest people on this planet Earth, which is of the children of Israel, because we are the Israelites. Because our sisters, at a point in time, was the most beautiful sisters on this planet Earth. Our sisters are still beautiful, but they are in a degrading way. When I say degrading way, right? Because a woman supposed to cover, his, cover herself, right? Now, why do most of our women say, why I can't find a good man. Why do they say that, sister? Plenty of reasons. Plenty of reasons. Only thing that's on his mind when he's talking to you is to lay down with you. He's not thinking about being with you for the rest of his life, making you his real, marrying you, having children with you, having a strong family structure. You understand? It taught us from these religions. They taught us to hate each other with this image. This image teaches us self-hatred because they portray themselves as Jesus Christ, right? And they say they the people of God that's in his Bible. Here's how we see here, I say that we are nothing. That we, what, what is our purpose? Our people see that they don't have no purpose. But when we come with you with the truth, and show you the true way that how we supposed to live and conduct ourselves, then we must open our eyes and understand that we must change. We must be transformed. You understand, sister? We have to change and transform. Because the thing is, check this out. Deuteronomy 28, verse 47, 48, real quick. What's going on, bro? How you doing, Doc? What's your name? Kevin, man. Who? Shalom, Kevin. Shalom, shalom, Kevin. Bro. What's going on, man? Hey, check this out, Kevin. What we're doing, we're going, we, we giving you vital information and truth about who we are and why these things happen to us, as you can see on these signs right here. The reason why we have these signs up here is to clarify physical evidence when we read the Bible, right? Read this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 47. Uh -huh. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. 
for the abundance of all things. He said, because we didn't serve God for the abundance of all things, right? So now, when it says you serve God, we have to keep the commandments. Who is this Bible is talking to? Give me Deuteronomy 29 and 1 real quick. This is, the, this is the main people that God is talking to, right? He said that we supposed to serve him for the abundance of all things. What is all things? Everything. Give me an example. Earth. Earth. Right? Everything in the earth, right? I'm going to give you another example after I read this. Read this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 29, verse 1. Uh -huh. These are the words of the covenant which Lord command Moses to make with the children of Israel. To the children of who? The children of Israel. Children of who? Children of Israel. This is who God is talking to. This is God's chosen people. This is who this Bible is for, the children of Israel. Now go back to verse 47. The children of Israel. I'm going to hold this sign up. I hope y'all paying attention. Read verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. We supposed to be serving God by keeping his commandments. The abundance of all things. Brother said, the earth and everything in it. Because the earth and everything in it were made for God's chosen people. And guess what? The people, the other nations, supposed to serve us. Read verse 1. Read verse 1. Oh, 28 and 1. 28 and 1. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. You read too fast. Slow down. Read. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt not hearken diligently. Read it again. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt not hearken. Read it again. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God uh -huh. to observe and do all his commandments to observe to do all his commandments if we observe to do God's commandments and statutes right how to love one another how to have a strong household how to raise our children in the laws of God not to hate one another how to stop killing one another right? Keep reading which I command thee this day, uh -huh. I will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Hey, read that part again. Which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that the Lord God will set thee on high. The Lord God will what? Set thee on high uh -huh. above all nations of the earth. Above what? All nations of the earth. Above all nations of the earth. Ain't no such thing as equality, period. You can see it, it's physical evidence, right? Why we why we as not don't have the same education system as this other other nations, right? Why we don't have the same job opportunities as the other nations? There is no such thing as equality. But God says we keep His commandments and statutes that we will rule over the other nations with the laws and the commandments of God. I, I just want to we to else. keep everything in order. Our people, the children of Israel, that is us. That's who, what we supposed to do. But this happened because, read verse 47 again, then we're going to read verse 48. Pay attention, Nick. Pay attention, sister. Big bro. Big bro. Big bro, you finna leave? You finna go? So if I ask you what's your nationality, what you would tell me? I, I ain't got no nationality. I'm just a human being. How, 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 how you don't have a nationality, brother? Uh, I'm just a human being. How you just a human being? Passing through the way, man. You just passing through the way. So, what's your name again? My name is Kevin. Kevin. All right. I read verse 29 and 1. It said, these are the covenant that God made with the children of who? Israel. Israel. Uh -huh. Okay. Check this out before you go. Read verse 47. Verse 47. Because thou, thou servest not the Lord with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Keep reading. Verse 48, therefore shall I serve thy enemies. Now we serve with our enemies. Identity, Israel. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Uh -huh. In hunger. In hunger. We don't own none of these grocery stores in our neighborhood. What nation of people own that store right there? The Arabs, right? Who own Walmart? The white people, right? Keep reading. And in thirst. And in thirst. We don't own no beverage corporations, right? 
If we collect rainwater, we get taxed or fine, right? If we stop paying our water bill, sister, what will happen if we start paying our water bill? That will cut it off, right? Keep reading. And in nakedness. And in nakedness, the textiles of our clothing. But we were the ones that picked the cotton. Keep reading. And in one of all things. If you want everything that you need in life, you have to go to them for that. A driver's license, an education, a birth certificate, a car, a house, a job. You gotta go to them. Keep reading. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And he will what? Put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And he will what? Put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Until when? Until he have destroyed thee. Who that happened to? The blast. The blast which, which God called is what? His people. His people which is what? The children of who? Israel. The children of Israel. That's right. So, Mr. Human Being, what is your nationality? What is your nationality? Real. Explain, real. explain your real. question. You got to explain your question. You said what is said what, what race of people race. you I'm descend I'm from? I'm black. I, I ain't no African American. I'm black. I'm you black? Yeah. Uh, what does God call black people? Negro. What does God call black people? What God call black people? Who this happened to? Uh, Put an iron and yoke upon your neck. Who that happened to? Read that again. Read that again. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. An uh, iron and yoke upon our neck until he had destroyed us. Who that happened to? That happened to the black people. That happened to us, right? So look at that sign right there. You say we black, right? Look on this sign. That sign right there. The 12 tribes of Israel. That's who we are. So beside American black, what does that say? That J word. J word but beside American black, on the top, Judah. Yeah. We are of the tribe of Judah. That's right. Of the nation of Israel. That's what, That's what you're saying. That's who we are. The true descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel. We are the Israelites. That is who God is talking to. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.